Welcome to the 13th lecture of Advanced Calculus course. In this lecture, we want to learn about how to differentiate a, uh, the composite functions, the differentiation of composite functions, also known as the chain rule. Now, in this lecture, we want to learn how to differentiate functions like g composite f. If f is uh, differentiable at a and g is differentiable at b where b is uh, f of a, we want to know the value of this differentiation. Uh, we want to know how to calculate the value of this differentiation using these two values. And the conclusion is that the uh, value equals g prime of b times f prime of a. So in other words, g prime of f of a times f prime of a. So when you differentiate a function in this form, when you, did, when you differentiate it, you first differentiate the function outside and using the uh, and maintaining the value inside and then differentiate the function inside so this is what we want to prove in this in this lecture so let me put this in more formal terms let's say f is a function from set a to our wheels and for a given element, uh, small a in the set large a, f is differentiable at a. And then for a function g from set b, where b is, uh, or b includes the whole image of function f. Uh, for a small b, which is equal to f of small a, which is certainly a element of set b, we know that g prime of b exists. g is differentiable at b. What we want to show is that g g prime uh, g composite f, the function from a, we want to show this value exists, so g composite f is differentiable at a, and its value equals the product of g prime of b and f prime of a. We want to show this. And now we'll Prove this. Proof. Now let us first define a function phi from set b to the set of all reals. Phi is a function that satisfies, that is defined like this. Phi of y is equal to g prime of b at y equals b. It is a piecewise defined function. And it is defined by the slope of the secant line in G. G of y minus G of b over y minus b whenever y is not equal to b. Now since G is differentiable at b, we know that phi is it continuous? Uh, we, uh, since g is differentiable at b, we know that phi is continuous at b as well. We know that these values, when y is not equal to b, approaches this value as y approaches b. Therefore, phi is a continuous function. At, uh, therefore, phi is continuous at b. And more, more interestingly, we could see that the following relationship always holds. G, y, g of y minus g of b equals 
phi of y times y minus b. For all y in the domain of phi, also a domain of b. This is also holds uh, when y is equal to b too. Uh, when y is equal to b, this value is not defined. However, uh, phi of y is defined as g prime of b. Uh, and when y equals b, the value in this side, since y is b, will be 0. And this, uh, the value of this term will be 0, so the right side will also be 0. So this relationship holds when y equals b. And also, when y does not equal b, since phi of y is defined to be the this value when y is not equal to b. Multiplying this by a non-zero value y minus b because y is not equal to b. Multiplying this by a non-zero value y minus b will yield the left side of this equation. Therefore, this equation is uh, would always hold for any element in the domain of phi and g. Now, using the relationship y equals f of x where x is an element of the domain of the function f and x does not equal a we could uh, we can see that this uh, equation suffices to g of f of x minus g of f of a divided by x minus a we're just dividing each side by a non-zero value x minus a and phi of f of x and f of x minus f of a over x minus a. We have divided both sides both sides by non-zero value x minus a. Now since x and now since f is a different uh, is differentiable at a, we know that this value approaches f prime of a as x approaches a. As x approaches a, this value, this value here, will approach f prime of a because f is, a, f is differentiable at a. And also, we know that phi is, uh, phi is continuous at b, at f of a. So therefore, as x approaches a, this value here will approach phi of f of a, which is just g prime of b. So as x approaches a, this whole right side here will approach g prime of b times f prime of a. And that's just exactly what we want. Uh, notice that the left side of this uh, relationship, this part, shows uh, the shows the slope. What what should approach g prime the product of g prime of b and f prime of a when we are uh, dealing the differentiability of g composite f? So this quotient we want it we want it to approach this value does actually approach this value as x approaches a. And therefore, we have proven that the differentiated value of g composite f at a equals the product of g prime of f of a times uh, and f prime of a. Therefore, the proof is over. The important part here, in this part, we have used that the following fact. When when limit of when limit of u for example exists and it's l and when v another function when when these two limits exist we know that the product of two, two uh, functions will be the uh, the limit of the product will be the product of the limits as well. We have used this fact 
in this part. Uh, we have used that as x, x approaches a, we know that this value approaches g prime of b, and this value approaches f prime of a. But to conclude that as x, x approaches a, the, the product of these two values actually uh, approach the uh, product of the limit values, we have to prove this fact. We have used this fact here. And this fact would be a good exercise for you to understand, uh, for to, you to deal with the definition of limits to uh, practice using the definitions of limit and practice proving using those definitions. So therefore, I'll uh, leave as an exercise for you to prove that for a if the limit of two functions exists, the product, uh, the limit of the, the products of th those two functions equals the product of the limit values of each functions. This would be a good exercise for you. This is the end of this lecture, and in the next lecture, we will learn about the differentiation of inverse functions. Thank you, and see you in the next lecture.